that one. Oh no! <laughs> yes, sir. Big time, right here, buddy. You know, the racetail shad, making the amount of noise that it does, moving the amount of water that it does, and having the action it does, you just are just shocked that it's a piece of plastic. When I first started designing the raid shad, I wanted a topwater bait that would be very versatile, and I wanted something that would have all of the action that the most popular topwater baits have. You know, I've been new product manager for Striking Lure Company for, for over a decade, and I've been in the fishing tackle business for 16, 17 years and fished all since I was five. And without a doubt, I'm more excited about the whole line of rage tail baits, from the shad, the toad, the crawl. Uh, you know, I feel like I, I sometimes I'm a stick in the mud, but as excited as I am about this product line, it's 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 as big as I've seen in my life. This little raid shad, one of the most important aspects of it, I think, is that it really looks like an injured bait fish. And with the side-to-side -side action in the wobble, along with the great tail action that it has, um, all of this came about because it's kind of like the, the tail wagging the dog. I thought of that when I was designing the bait. And I designed this, you know, the, of course, the crescent shape of the tail and the different radiuses in it. And then, of course, when you fish it, you can see what the tail is doing. It wobbles back and forth. It's designed so that there's actually a portal where the water comes into this portal right here, when the bait's swimming across the water, when you're pulling it like this, the water comes up into this portal through this radius and then pushes forward. That's the reason it gets all of the water throwing above in front of the bait. And that's what causes it to have all of the excessive water movement or the really great water movement. But also, once the tail starts working, it starts driving the head of the bait from side to side and the bait also wobbles and tilts this direction. There's really no way that you can cast this bait on the water. You could hook it upside down and it'll still right itself and uh, run true. You know, the race tail shad, making the amount of noise that it does, moving the amount of water that it does and having the action it does, you just are just shocked that it's a piece of plastic. It's soft plastic like all the other soft plastics on the market. However, it's gone through 15, 16 revisions in the design phase. The engineering on the bait is second to none. I mean, I don't think anybody or any company has spent the amount of time engineering a piece of plastic that we have to develop this bait. And, and it shows on the water, all the action, the flanging, the, 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 the softness, the durability, everything on that bait is for a reason. In my opinion, there's, there's a lot of different ways to design things, but a lot of people, it seems like they quit when they get something good. But in my opinion, good is not good enough. There's, there's ways to improve things and until you've exhausted all the, different, all the different ideas that you have and you've tried each and every little thing, uh, until you've got it as good as it can be, why stop? Oftentimes when you're working with someone else, it seems to be a little trouble here and there or they're not quite understanding exactly what you're looking for. But Strike King, uh, on the other hand, they said Steve Parks, until you're satisfied with each and every one of the Rage Series baits, uh, you just keep doing what you want to do until you get it right. And it's, it's really a wonderful thing to be able to work pe with people like them. Uh, Phil and John Barnes, they've said, hey, look, uh, you be as picky as you want to be. I really do appreciate what they've done and what they've allowed me to do and give me an opportunity to bring this type of a a bait and a series of baits to the market. I couldn't have done it with anybody else. There's an entire series of baits that are designed around the Rage Tail. We have the Rage Toad, the Crawl, the Chunk, and all of those baits have been designed, as this one has, to the nth degree so that we can provide the most action uh, on each bait. And uh, it's all very unique, and, and it's the Rage Tail that made it possible. Finding this design was the key to being able to create all these different baits and have all the different, uh, the great action on each and every one of them.
The only thing I got to tell the fishermen is if you're going to fish with them, bring a bunch. That's right. Because you're going to need them. You sure get a lot of bites on this bait. There's a beautiful one right there. Whoa, it's a big one. Oh, that's a good fish. I'm going to get out of your way. You're scaring me up there. Look at that. Isn't that not pretty? Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a big fish with some big attitude. <laughs> <laughs>